is a liar because so many people they're just out to out for money some they just want to use girls maybe they just come in the name of love they start cheating them and uh, asking for naked photos and some even they ask money you know we have also scammers like men they just come out in the name of love that they love you but by the end of the day it will come up they really want money from you maybe they will say okay i have a problem i have a sister who is in another country she has a problem or something like that so my people if you come across such kind of people just to block and move that is a scammer he's not a serious person a man really who is looking for a serious relationship you will start from the word go when you start communication you will just feel that this person is real he's not a scammer just by chatting and honest people they never share their private contact so easily they need first to learn you by the public platform where you met you just communicate first in a couple of maybe some take months without sharing their private contacts and uh, after after maybe if you you knew, if you know each other well maybe if the person has good feelings with you then now they can decide to share private contact with you and these days some people or some other uh, dating platforms they ask them you must have a webcam they have to see if they are chatting with a real person or maybe they're just you know we have like robots you know you might think that you're chatting with really a person but this is not really a person uh, it's not someone you're chatting with this is just like an image or something like that so if really you're lucky you can find a man there we find people they are very serious a serious person a serious man who is searching for a good woman will never ask you for a naked photo he will never ask you for a naked photo it will just be no more chatting it will be interesting knowing you about your culture about your family about everything it will come to a time now you will you will try to build that relationship together and maybe now you start involving each other maybe by family informing the family that you have some relationship or maybe you can decide even to meet each other yeah i think that is the when you will try to learn this is a really good real person but the disadvantages are these people you just meet with someone one time he starts asking you for photos and the photos is asking you just tell them the photos i have i think it's enough by my sight because some people they put photos some they don't put photos and if you ask this person to give you maybe you don't know how you can communicate with him so that you can share a photo and they are so quick to give you their private contact so that you can share their photo and they don't want photos just like normal photos they want like uh, naked photos they want sexy photos or something like this so my people my girls if you come across such kind of people don't even entertain them those are just scammers a real man will never ask you for naked photos a real man who really wants a good woman will never ask you for any sex photo the man will be satisfied the way you are when he just sees your face that is enough they will never ask you for so many complicated things like photos show me that show me that those people they're just out there to use african women especially you know africans they're out there to search they just want to use you and my girls or my women whoever who is dating online don't be tempted with any person especially these our people white people you know they know that most of the women they're searching for white men or something like that some of them they just use our black girls they just teach them they cheat them they cheat them that they are honest i'll do you this i will bring you to europe i'll bring you there this is just lies bringing someone in europe it's not something like it's not just something like that this thing it needs a process it is a big process you cannot just meet someone today in the name of cheating you that i'll bring you to europe you just start now being excited doing everything removing and doing some crazy things with the person don't be don't be convinced so easily a real good person who is interested with the good woman 
he will take his time. You have to know each other. Before you start that deep conversation, I think you need to know each other. Even imagine by communication, you can even start having that feeling for one another. It depends what do you really communicate with this person? What kind of topics do you involve yourself with this person? Me, what I can only say, online dating, it works to some people. And it doesn't work to some other people. It just needs, but it's just a matter of patience, waiting, waiting, waiting. And I am very sure when you are searching, really, because I believe that God knows what you want. God will direct you to a good person. You will meet a good person. Somebody will love you. Somebody who will understand you. Somebody who will really love you the way you are. It doesn't matter if you have children or you don't have children. But I know that you are, if really you find somebody, you will not care about how many children you have. Love is love. It doesn't weigh anything that I don't love you because... You have such a such a number of children. That is a lie. My sisters and brothers, whoever who is smoking you out there, even if you see that you have a one child, two, three, four, five, you think that is the end of everything. I am telling you that is not the end. Just ignore the negativity and focus for what you want. Focus because God knows you. He knows the desires of your heart. He knows the type of a man you're looking for. Just stand up. Ignore all the negativities. Just say that God is going to give me what I want. That's why you see people, they are crying in churches. They are crying to God to give them what they want. Because I know that our God knows our desires. He knows what we need. He knows everything what we want. So, you, if you have children... Don't be indemnated because of your children. That is a blessing. That is your blessing. God blessed you with those children. And God is going to give you somebody, someone who will love you with those children. Yes, I have a testimony. I have children. I was loved with children. The man who loved me never cared how many children I had. But he told me, I love you. I will take you the way you are. God gives you someone who will understand you, who will understand you, who will understand your situation. He will never mock you that these are not, you know, like as African people, if you have maybe children and you marry another man with other children, they'll start calling your names. Like my, what, my Sprach and my language, they call you Evirentane. You came with those children, they are not mine. No. God will give you the father for those children. It doesn't matter that this is the biological father. He will give you a father who will take care of those children. Yeah. This is, I guarantee you, don't feel that you are lonely. You are down. You are just to the top. You have nothing. You have something because you have God who is with you. You have God who knows you. You have God who knows your future. My dear people, you should not you should not depend on anyone. Just be yourself. No, you know I might sound like crazy. I am not crazy. I know what I've gone through in my life. And this is what I went through in my life. This is the same thing I want to share with you. I'm giving you the faith. Just trust God. Don't trust anybody. Don't allow any negativities in your life. There is nobody, nobody who will ever put you down. God loves us all. God doesn't say that I love you because you have this. I love you. I don't love you because you don't have this. In the eyes of God, we are all the same. We are all God's creature. We are all everything in God. In the eyes, we are the same. It is only the time difference. We are all blessed in many ways. Different time, different hour, different years and different. You don't know when your time is coming, but it is coming soon in the name of Jesus Christ. That hold on on that God you are praying for. 
that God you trust in. Pray, pray, pray. As I said, have faith for whatever you are doing. If you are doing something, just do it fully. If you are, you come to online platforms of dating sites, do it fully. Do it fully. Do something. If you are working somewhere, dating, put it like number two. It's not a priority. Some girls also there, they just take, take that dating is like a job. They wake up in the morning, they're just going to sit on online looking for men. Do something while you are doing something, whichever business, whichever small job you are doing to keep yourself busy. Online you can chat another time in the evening when you have free. Not, not always you're just seated on computer searching. Huh? God will bless you with that small you have. Even that husband you will get, he will ask you, what do you do for a living? You cannot tell your husband that I am just seated down searching for men online. No, 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 no. No man who wants to have also an idol partner. They need also somebody who is capable of doing anything, work especially. Even men, they don't look for poor women. They don't. They want, if they want, they, they want somebody who is productive in their lives. They cannot just pick you to get all the responsibility that you're just putting on a man. They also want somebody who can also help them in, in other ways. Yes, this is not a lie. It is very true. Whether the men are in Africa or wherever, every man needs a hard-working woman who can also provide, who can also go out and work for their lives. So there is nothing for free. Yeah, so my sisters and brothers, I'm just coming back again. I think we are going to speak more about this dating and everything. And I'm sure that we are going to, we are going really to understand what is the meaning of online dating yeah